Maisie loves playing with her Barbie and Ariel dolls. Today is a special day. Her daddy bought her a magic dollhouse. It's exactly what she's been dreaming of. Two more dolls? LOL dolls, Jenny and her friend Monica. But what will happen to Ariel and Barbie? The crazy thing is that in the magic house, the dolls come to life. That's what's happened to Maisie's dolls. The first thing they decided to do was look around and get to know their roommates. They seemed weird. The new dolls immediately decided to show Barbie and Ariel who's in charge here. They didn't like each other and started arguing about the borders of their territories. Jenny and Monica were pretty clear about the boundaries. Looks like we're in for a real doll battle. The important thing is that the house survives the war. Hey, that's Maisie's lipstick. She's got another surprise stashed away. Wait, Barbie already found it. How'd she even get here? Maisie doesn't know yet that her dolls have come to life. Barbie didn't come back alone. She brought a huge shoe. Isn't that amazing? So they got a glamorous chair. Cinderella would yeah. love it. But not everyone was happy about the decor. Jenny is sure that she's the most beautiful girl in the world. And Barbie thinks it's all thanks to makeup. If you hide it in a balloon, then we'll see how beautiful you really are. The inflatable balloon isn't the safest place, but it's the most unusual. Jenny's panicking. Her glitter is gone. Now she'll only get it by winning a game of darts. Let's do it. Jenny throws, but she went over the line. Barbie won't let the cheat. The target is hmm, defeated, okay. but mm -hmm. there's no glitter there. Tell what? Jenny in the comments, hmm. which balloon oh. should she throw the dart at? She can't wait for your answers. Barbie oh. and Ariel like to play badminton. Oh, wow. It's fun, but the birdie flew next door. Barbie decided to push the boundaries a bit to get it and got stuck. That's how Monica caught her breaking the treaty. Barbie is terrified of what they'll do to her, but they just let her go for the first time. The dolls decided to be nicer to their roommates this time. Sure, they took something as payment, a birdie. They'll need it again. The dolls made a garland out of it for their room. It's much cozier now. <laughs> Maisie was listening to Baby Shark when she remembered about her toys. How were they settling into their new home? Ariel must be very uncomfortable with her tail. The dress looks even better on her. The new look didn't just surprise the doll, it scared her. Yeah, she's always dreamed of having legs. All that's left is to learn how to control them and let someone tickle her heels with a feather. Walking isn't so easy, but she's a strong girl, she can do it. Finally, she can dance. Not slap her tail on the floor to the beat of the music. LOL dolls don't like all this partying. Barbie is happy for her friend. And you can keep the tail as a memento of the past. Yeah, that's an unusual trophy. A little modern modification, and it made for a cool makeup shelf. Hey, stop it! LOL dolls found their own way to have fun. Coloring a photo of Barbie. They think she'll look good with monkey ears. Ariel also got some. These pictures are so cringe. Naturally, this made the roommates very mad. They're gonna get their revenge. The kiss the border trick has been activated. The cringe wall totally failed. The LOL dolls will not forgive this. This is way out of line. Maisie's playing around and dinner's getting cold in the kitchen. She went to go eat, leaving Ariel under a heavy smartphone. Barbie has to help her best friend. And she's stronger than she looks. But Ariel disappeared. She's stuck in a smartphone. To free the doll from the virtual world, please like this video right now. Oh, here we go. Thank you, guys. Thanks to you, she's free again. Ariel is saved and very tired. Enough crazy adventures for today. 
It's been a busy day. Bye -bye. Good night. But LOL dolls don't need to go to bed that early. They don't think there's enough light in the house. This is the wire from the lamp. They love it when everything around them is bright. So they can see the sour faces of their roomies. LOL dolls are so sneaky. Barbie's already getting a tan from that lamp. It needs to be turned off right away. It's time to use your skills from the doll cheerleading team. The light bulb's out. Ariel didn't stretch out before her stunt. And Barbie's put on a few pounds. It doesn't matter because she has Ken and he's madly in love with her. He always comes with flowers. He's the perfect guy. But he's no good at arts and crafts. Barbie had to make her own chandelier. She can be hard to impress. But with this chandelier, she impressed herself and Ariel too. All dolls love candy. They stole them from Maisie's sweet stash. Monica didn't throw away the foil. She turned it into a silver mirror frame in the LOL doll's room. Wow. That's cool. Wow. Great. But what's Barbie doing in that mirror? Bragging about her bouquet. They want to take it away. But the sudden earthquake did all the work for them. Barbie's bouquet would be perfect for decorating the mirror. In fact, the LOL dolls are jealous that she has a boyfriend. The old dolls have a plan to get revenge on their ignorant roommates. It's time for Barbie to use her acting school skills. Ariel is great at calling for help. It works every time. The toy police came to her rescue. Not only does she have a candy cane, she also has the eye of the tiger. It's time for her to work. The crime scene is fenced off for the duration of the investigation. Oh, the victim suddenly came back to life. What a miracle. Thank you to the police for responding so quickly. The plan worked. They now officially have room for a coffee table. The LOL dolls didn't expect that. They won't let this slide. They're not scared of the police. Let's do it, baby. I know the law. Another crazy day at the magic house has come to an end. Then Maisie decided to put Huggy Wuggy instead of Ariel. So what? Dolls like change too. And Maisie likes surprises. Barbie is scared and decided to check her friend's bed. She thought for a second that it was Ariel without makeup. She's never seen her like this before. But her friend doesn't usually do that. That awful Huggy Wuggy got the whole house on its feet. No one gets to mess with a girl's sleep in this house. Bad luck for the furry monster. The poor guy's been laid out like a carpet on the floor. Maisie suspected something was wrong when she saw him like that. He clearly didn't fit in. It's time to bring Ariel back. Not having a makeup bag can only lead to trouble. It's time to clean up and throw out the trash. Mermaids are the ones who pollute okay. the world's oceans and the LOL dolls' rooms. This feels like foot volleyball. LOL dolls don't know how to lose. Okay. They're used to winning. Get ready for the free throw. A nice shot takes the opponent out of the game. That gives her a starfish. The makeup shelf solves the clutter problem. And there's room for a photo with a friend. She chose all the pictures where Barbie blinked. Jenny decided to sunbathe today. But as luck would have it, it's supposed to be rainy all day. So she'll have to look for an alternative way to get a tan. And she found it in Maisie's kitchen. Of course, the microwave. She'll need a friend's help to run the huge food tanner. She's ready. Let's go. Let's get tan. But suddenly Maisie needed to heat up a sandwich. She's mad that the dolls are walking around the house again. The microwave is actually dangerous. The dolls are grounded. She doesn't even know that Barbie got out on the couch in the living room. That's how she ended up being held hostage by Maisie's dad. Those 20 minutes seemed like an eternity to her. She miraculously made it back into the house and not empty handed. Daddy's t-shirt ripped and Barbie fell with the scraps. Now Daddy's probably throwing out his back. Yes, he is. No one will believe you. Ariel wouldn't believe it. The rags turned into a curtain. Now you can hide from the mean neighbors. 
Barbie was vacuuming the room when the LOL dolls pulled another sneaky prank. Then she stumbled upon the nail polish. Jenny planted it. Not only that, she scattered all her makeup in the walkway. That leads Barbie to the very edge of the house. By the way, she's very afraid of heights. Ariel immediately rushed to save her friend. She hasn't finished cleaning up yet. She set the vacuum cleaner to the strongest mode to bring her friend back. She'll remember that kiss with a vacuum cleaner for a long time. Maisie got bored with comic books and decided to check on her toys. She thinks it's time for the dolls to become friends. Why are you fighting so much? To put it mildly, they weren't really happy about it. They're not gonna live like that. But a border is a border. The dolls themselves invented it, and now they regret it. Barbie's head started spinning from the news. This is ridiculous. All they used to care about was fighting. They'll have to get along now. Ariel is missing the fun days she used to spend with her friend. She's taking the separation hard. Her crying drove Jenny crazy, and she had to calm her down. It's hard to get her attention. Let's put the pictures next to the bed. She can even talk to them, as long as she doesn't cry. All these seasons of Sesame Street and nothing to watch. We don't need this. Even though they're dolls, they also live in the world of technology. But you can listen to The weekend's latest album. And you can make a nice decoration for your room out of CDs. Looks like the dolls are getting friendly. It's time for everyone to make up. Look, the border disappeared. Now they'll live together under one roof and no more shenanigans. Hey, you! Will you comment below and tell us which room was your favorite? We really want to know. And maybe you want to know another story. Baby Jenny and Monica wow. found a secret room mm -hmm. in the locker. And Monica is sure that she can ruin everything. It's much better for her not to touch things. Her sister is always ruining everything. She was nice and offered her sister to share half of the room. They'll have to draw the line. Otherwise, the disaster is unavoidable. Jenny thinks that her sister is exaggerating because everything is under control. The older sister Ooh. decided to make the room cozier. Look at her shelves. Jenny wants to help, but the best help for Monica is when nobody bothers her. That's why she's sending her sister to draw on her side of the room. Jenny loves her pencils, but she also loves shelves. And what if she makes shelves out of pencils? Great idea. Maybe Monica's being too hard on her sister? Monica got her own wall of honor. <laughs> Jenny has what to show, too. She also has achievements. There's not much, but there is something. It's the first time she's not dropping everything she touches. Oops, looks like she tried too hard. If it's done fast, it's probably not done right. Monica needs a table in her room. She can take it from the classroom. Oh, she tried too hard. This furniture is no good. Great, what? that's much better. A pillow would be great. Sorry, buddy, nothing personal. Now it's right. It's perfect for Monica's butt. While her sister was posting stories, Jenny got interested in her books. Is the younger sister gonna read? Of course not. She's gonna play behind a cool table out of her sister's books. It's time for Monica to go to class. But there are no books. She can't get them back. Monica has a class. She's hoping that no one is gonna notice that her books are a little different. Huh? She'll have what? to lie that it's a new method of learning and easier to study this way. <laughs> Janitor Ruby used to be a teacher until Monica and Jenny bought a volcano project hmm. that covered the whole college with dirt. Ruby got blamed for everything, and she's been relegated to the janitor position. While Jenny and Monica are trying to steal a flower from the corridor, Ruby didn't even notice the changes. Today is gonna rain in college. It's recommended you take an umbrella. Now the principal's gonna figure out what happened. 
Looks like Ruby won't be getting back to teaching anytime soon. And a flower found its place in the sister's secret room. Teamwork! We feel bad for the janitor. Jenny loves chemistry. One time she dreamed about a periodic table. And she even wanted to take a certain Mendeleev to court for the idea right. But today she got fascinated by a beautiful tune. Jenny always takes what she wants and never thinks about the consequences. A classroom blew up because of her. Who cares? But a tube appeared in the secret room. If we put a garland inside it, we can make a cool lamp. Now the room looks much cozier. <laughs> Monica's not happy with her poem. Her muse didn't reciprocate her feelings. Jenny doesn't like poetry. A garbage can, on the other hand, it can turn into a cool poof. It's softer than any boyfriend. <sighs> Oops. Monica huh? noticed what was missing and is planning to teach the thief a lesson. Okay. What's wrong, Jenny? Does your poof smell yeah. funny? It's the smell of lies and deceit. Where do you look <gasps> for room decor? In the college art gallery, of course. Wait, 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 but wait, touching wait, 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 paintings isn't allowed. Jenny's not giving up. She painted a picture to switch it with the original. It's a perfect crime. International jury just came to the gallery looking for new talents. College collection really impressed them. But a painting by an unknown artist caught all their attention. It's a breakthrough in the world of art. This painting deserves to be in the Louvre. A masterpiece appeared in Jenny's room. She's doing great. Monica knows wow. nothing about art. She's inspired by the beauty and grace of the universe. The planets are so bright and beautiful, and black <gasps> holes are so Ooh. black. Jenny got an interesting idea. What if the planets of the solar system are gonna be in a room? That's much better. There are ideas everywhere. Okay. You just need to open your mind for them. Colorful thumbtacks from a notice board can come in handy in this secret room. And if you just glue poster to the board, who cares? And Jenny used thumbtacks and thread to make a board with the most beautiful name in the world. <laughs> Her own name. But what if the principal wants to update the notice board in the corridor? For example, take off the note about a lost dog with his phone number. What a silly joke. Monica's wall really transformed. Now there's light there. And, of course, a photo from her good side. She made a poster out of sequins and her own drawings. Jenny has a radical approach to decoration, which was very creative. The criminal sketches hanging around college really looked like the principal. He destroyed them together with a spoiled <laughs> test. Shredded paper really looks like confetti. Jenny definitely needs them, but she doesn't know why yet. That's why she made a cool plate for her favorite popsicles. Awesome! <laughs> Jenny's classmate is celebrating her birthday. The day's gonna be colorful and fun. The friend brought her a gift, but she's expecting more than a cake in return. There's something charming about balloons. It's hard to control yourself. The balloons are gonna be even more beautiful if Jenny's face will be on them. You can't get your eyes of her. Jenny loves watching Monica no. apply makeup. Monica forbade her from touching her things. And it's time to go to class. <gasps> Jenny couldn't ignore colorful words on the board. The chalk is so bright. That's what Jenny needs. But for what? A sleight of hands and no tricks. <gasps> now it's clear. Her face is not a school board. How horrible. She needs to wipe everything off until she sneezes the room away. Monica loves loud music, and Jenny feels bored in silence. What's that light? It's coming from her sister's old CDs. And what if we make a disco ball? The party started. Monica wasn't expecting that. Now, <gasps> Disco Ball's colorful rays and the music of the soul will make you dance. 
Monica wants to be friends with popular guys. That's why she's inviting everyone to an explosive party. But the principal won't allow to have it in college. In this case, Monica has a plan B. She'll have to tell about this secret room. Even nerd Tom knows about it now. This party pooper ruins everything if you invite him. He'll eat too much sweets and lose control again. That's why it's better to lock Tommy inside the locker. Monica doesn't follow the hiding rules. The principal almost spotted her. Jenny needs to be a little more careful. Mr. Joe is suspecting something. The secret room is about to be revealed. But the principal got distracted by his reflection because he looks too good. And he understood why nerd Tom wasn't in class for two days. He's gonna tell on everyone without a second thought. Misusing the college premises, bullying Tommy, and throwing a party too? It's a serious hmm. rule violation. The principal gave the girls the final warning. What if he has something to hide too? Maybe college has more secrets than you know. Maybe he's not even a principal. And there's a superhero hiding under the mask of a shy man. And in order to find out, you need to see who he's friends with. People like Joey were born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Joey's family is super rich. And since he's their only son, he always gets whatever he wants. But lately, he's been taking that a little far. In one day, he spends what I make in a year. And the things he does are the talk of the town and the local news. Joey is an embarrassment to the family. He doesn't know the value of money, but that is about to change. Joey's grandma isn't happy about his latest antics. So she wants to have a serious conversation with him. Joey only visits grandma's mansion for money. But this time, he's not here by choice. Grandma called him here to tell him that he might not be in her will anymore. If you want to inherit all our money, you have to do something first. If you don't do it, you'll lose everything. And Charles the cat will get all the money. The task is to earn $1,000 by yourself with $100 of starting capital. If Joey keeps this up, he won't just be broke, he'll be homeless. He'll be the first broke person in his family. But life always finds a way. If Joey doesn't want to end up with nothing, he needs a job. Working as a delivery guy isn't exactly Joey's dream gig. He doesn't want to work at all, actually. But he's hungry and he wants money, so he has no choice. He's starving. Luckily, he didn't eat the whole pizza, just the crust to make a heart. Jules and Violet thought it was a nice gesture from the restaurant. So Joey got away with it. Things are pretty bad right now. And Joey just wants to give up and accept his fate. Hey! But the universe keeps giving him signs. Don't give up. Joey's second job is handing out flyers. Joey always thought this job was so embarrassing. If nobody he knows sees him, then maybe it'll be okay. But Joey just ended up caught in his own trap. Joey worked all weekend and only made a hundred bucks. At minimum wage, it would take a lifetime to earn a thousand. Joey needs a better plan. No shady business, only honest work. He has an idea. Here's what it is. He can buy Nick's projects and sell them at a markup. 
that can make him rich. He just has to buy them from Nick and then sell them to the other students for way more money. The next yeah. day, Joey was realizing that his talent is making money without working too hard. He can just resell science projects and homework. He's killing it on the college black market. And what would you do if you had your own secret room at college? Comment below and we're gonna read your answer, give you a like, and take the best idea for our next video.